Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to RuneScape. So, we are going to finish off the mem- uh, what is it? Memories of the- uh, Mar Marjorette Memories. Uh, we've got five left, or four left. I don't quite remember off the top of my head. I have a- I have the list here, I will be grabbing them. We'll be just be doing this the same as we did last time. We will grab the memories, and I will read them, and then I'll cut back to when I have the next memory, and we'll read that one. Uh, Palkira's memory. Infernus Pandemonium. The infernal dimensions human demonologists seem so confused. These are all the same place. I have been there. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. All the, all the different demon realms are actually all the same place. I have been there. It's a magnificent place. A world more like Ferenske than Gilinor. Made of jagged rocks and liquid fire. We call the denizens of the world demons, but they're actually many peoples and they're... History goes back millennia or longer. The earliest race, at least that I know of, were the Infernals. And though I do not think they were the original rulers of their planet, they were at their height the undisputed masters of the demon races. Thousands of years ago, the Chthonian race rose up, overthrew the Infernals, and took their place as overlords. The other major race were the Avernic, who had been slaves under the Infernals and remained slaves to the Chthonians. Despite their chaotic and highly varied appearance, the Chthonians were creatures of laws and rules. The culture was a fussy bureaucracy that had largely replaced open warfare with the legal system. They were cannibals and could steal the power of any creature they consumed. By contrast, the Avernic were still tribal and primitive, constantly engaged in bloody squabbles. There were many Avernic subspecies, the largest and strongest being Sutsaroth demons, sometimes called elders or butchers. A unique quirk of the Avernic meant that the Chthonians were unable to consume them. The Tutsalaroth ruled over the smaller winged Alyaroth and yet smaller wingless Bizo B Bizroth with brutal authority. I'm assuming the. Those are lesser demons and maybe even. Uh, the Bizroth might be imps. I'm not entirely sure. But so I'm assuming the reason they couldn't be consumed is because when they died, they burned to ash because of the internal combustion that they have that might be that might be what that is at some point prior to this arrival on Gilinor, Zeros visited their world and tricked the Chthonian ruler into giving him control of 12 legions though he was never master of Infernus himself itself even just a few legions gave Zeros military power unmatched by any of the other gods the legions were formed of Chthonian nobles leading teeming hordes of Avernic shock troops this relationship continued on the Zorosian Empire but the vast human population elevated both cases of castes of demons, such were that the Avernic were among the elite of the society. As the Chthonians lived lives of distant luxury, they failed to notice that some urban, urban Avernic were beginning to develop a sentiment of rebellion. Zamrak played on this to sway many Avernic to his side, though only two of the Tsusaroth were prepared to make an outright pledge of allegiance. After the destruction of Zaros, Zamrak fulfilled his pledge to the Avernic by traveling with them to Infernus to overthrow the Chthonians. Even with his new divine powers, this took him nearly twenty years. But by the end of ev every Chthonian had been destroyed or exiled to the Abyss. So the Abyssal- yeah, the Abyssal Demons are the Chthonian Demons. So, um, so I guess this is how the Abyssal Demons got there. They were exiled from the Demon World into the Abyss. That makes sense. The Avernic became fiercely loyal to Zamorak, and as a result would serve as the backbone of his army during the God Wars. Over time, the Infernals and the Chthonians were forgotten, and most humans only know of the Avernic. The Chthonian remnants still linger in the Abyss, however. I know of at least one attempt to summon them in the facility at Vigorous Folly. Bilrock had always spoken of seeking out the lost Infernals, but I do not think any of them can still exist after so long. Interesting, interesting. I will be right back. Talk about the memories. I have a memory for you. Yes, I remember it. Make of that what you will. Relvash's memory. When we followed Sleescathe and Duke Ceres through the gates of Caledet, and turned our back on Ictharin and the Menophytes, we could not imagine what would become of us. We had spent only a few years among the Menophyte army, all of it on campaign, with ceaseless fighting against the Zerosian legions. Once we turned to Zeros, those of us who survived and the final disastrous battle moved to the Empire were granted positions of power and authority within it by our new lord. The comfort and luxury of this new life was a world sway 
from scratching existence on Ferenske. Some of us were better able to cope than others. Sleesge, in particular, had always been playful, but the relative decadence of human society and near limitless power of our new positions provided an avenue for his very worst of his provisions. Sentiston had a playhouse, originally founded by Cathonians hundreds of years ago, but largely, largely run by and for humans in our time. Sleesge wrote and performed a play for the elite of Sentiston, the more urbane demons and most powerful human merchants and bureaucrats. Before the play, he took unwanted humans from the streets. The city dressed them in brightly colored costumes and placed upon each of them a crude wooden mask. At his command, the mask spoke aloud and controlled the movements of the players, compelling them to jerkily act and dance and mime as his play like puppets, with the person behind the mask able only to watch his own actions. It's a grotesque gimmick. Players actually stabbed each other to death with their weapons at the play's climax. In one memorable showing, one of the players died, probably of some disease in the middle of the performance. But the mask was able to animate his corpse as easily as he was living body. The show went on. The play was hit with the most of the audience and Sleesge performed it a dozen times before growing bored and moving on to something else. Those who disliked it dared not voice their concern for fear of social disgrace becoming the victim of the Inquisition of the Praetorians. For myself, I kept quiet, but I wondered, I worried greatly about this way of life was changing us. I was sure some of the others felt the same way. Okay, so Sleesge has been Sleesge for a very long time. Oh, I was not expecting him to show up here. Leaving so soon, World Guardian. Sleesge, what do you want? Now, there's a question. What do I want? Yeah, that is a good question. World peace, perhaps? I doubt it. Or a puppy? I don't know. Maybe I just want to be left alone. I doubt that too. Why don't you just give me a straight answer for once? Hmm. What an interesting proposition. Very well. You get one oh straight answer. Ask your question. Okay, great. Uh... What are your, what is your favorite color? Oh my god, I, I almost have to pick that. What are your plans? Why do you assume I have plans? Maybe I'm just making up things as I go along. I doubt it. You said a straight answer. So I did. But then you know my plans. I intend to stir up a second God Wars. Why? I thought that was just a distraction for Xeros' return, but he's back now. It still helps him. The longer the gods are distracted, the less likely they'll even realize he is back. So why keep up the charade? Wouldn't you tell the other gods he's re Wouldn't you tell the other gods he's returned? There's one thing you should know about me. I give my word rarely. But when I give it, I keep it. I promised Zaros that I would cause a distraction to keep his return secret for as long as possible. And I intend to keep it. I see. Even though he excommunicated you? You forget that the method of this distraction was my choice. And it is my choice to keep it going, not Zaros's. I see. In anything I do, there's always something in it for me. And what do you get out of the second God Wars? You mean, aside from entertainment? But that's a second question. Great, okay. Well, I guess that's as straight answer as I can expect from you. I guess so. <laughs> Alright, nothing else. Good boy. So, what's next for me and you? I don't know. Uh... I will stop you. More like you'll try. For all your efforts, you couldn't even stop poor little Lucian. It took the Dragonkin to end him, and I've already mastered those mindless idiots. Have you? Are you going to sick Zaros on me? I don't think so. He's got bigger fish to fry than little old me. Maybe you'll wake up another Elder God to squash me like a bug. Maybe that's what I want you to do. <laughs> that's enough chit-chat. I'm done here. But 
Before I go, I have a little gift for you. Okay. Ooh, what is it? No, wait. Hmm. Now, isn't that interesting? Wait, I'm I'm not a I'm not a white. <laughs> Your face. I'm not trying to collect you anymore, silly. You're already mine. Great. My gift allows you to see into Ooh. the shadow realm without need of that scrawny ring. Next time, I want you to see me coming. <laughs> oh, that was holy crap. Oh my god, that was <laughs> Oh, so now I don't need the now I don't need the ring of the ring of shadows or whatever it's called. Interesting. I can also now destroy the invitation box again. Um, yeah. So that was a thing. I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna cut here. We're gonna go straight to the other place. Finish off this memory. We've got a handful of these left. I was not expecting him to show up there. So that's uh, that was interesting. Okay. Let's head back here, get this other memory. I can destroy this box now. I can always go get another one if I need it. And climb down ladder. I'm surprised that there's like stuff happening at some of these. Then again, I don't know if that, I don't know if that little event happened because I got the memory from there or because I just was going there to begin with, I'm not sure. Um, I have a memory for you. All right, make of it what you will. Sleeskay's memory. In my time at the pre Prefectus Praetorio, I took my confessions of many beings from many worlds, but none were quite so as interesting as that rambling Cathonian. The beast was all slobber, tentacles, and procrastination. Whether my strategy or incompetence, he appeared completely incapable of addressing the matter at hand. But he spent hours regaling me with tales of his homeworld. Most of his stories concerned the rivalries between the, his duke and some other, or the enslavement and unruliness of the Avernic. But he told me one story about Xeros. It was of the time that the Empty Lord came to their world. The ruler of Infer Infernus is a great corpulent thing called Hostilius the Autocrat. Hostilius has grown immense from consuming so many infernals and his own kin during the Cathonian Rebellion. As ruler, he span a great web of law and bureaucracy across all his world, which made direct conflict socially unacceptable. The Cathonians were cannibals, though, and the system implicitly encouraged the use of legal trickery to entrap and earn the right to devour one's peers. Xeros appeared on this world apparently in need of forces for the conquest of Gilinor. Though he towers over me, Xeros was like a mouse before the great bulk of Hostilius. That occupied nearly the entire open-air amphitheater that was his court. Xeros plainly requested the use of the Twelve Legions of Demons. Hostilius, too surprised to be, too, too surprised to be offended, demanded to know what the tiny purple creature offered in return. And Xeros offered the secrets of travel between the worlds and allow the Cathonians to devour a whole new races rather than reducing to preying on each other. Hostilius had retained his position for thousands of years because he had accumulated cunning of everything he had ever eaten, and sought to trick Xeros with the contract he drew up. Though the Twelve Legions was only a fraction of his total might, and very little to pay for the knowledge Xeros was offering, Hostilius was absurdly avaricious and wished to give up nothing and by defining and redefining terms throughout the document, he specified in fine legalese that the leadership of the legions would be passed, not to Xeros, but to his eldest signatory, i.e. Hestilius. Xeros saw the deception immediately, but rather than call attention to it, he allowed it to remain, knowing what Hostilius did not. The Cathonian contracts are magically binding and cannot be broken. In the center of the court, Xeros leaked the tiniest quantity of his essence to sign the contract in lieu of blood, and Hostilius barked in triumph in his own cleverness. Xeros then told the assembled throng of demons a tale of his own origins on a distant world aeons ago, having walked between uncountable worlds in a time long before Hostilius had even spawned, and the consequent outcome ha this had on the contract 
the magical contract made the truth of this claim unquestionably clear to the audience. The humbled Hostilius pledged to Zaros his twelve mightiest dukes and their legions, and since the same language had been used for Zaros as part of the trade, he received nothing in return. The subsequent invasion, of course, was well-known story. It's so not often I feel proud of my lord, but it does happen. I must try this on one of the dukes one some day. I worry my reputation may precede me. That was my best Sleeske impression. I, I, I lost it a part way through a few times there. I love his voice. It's fantastic. We've got a few more of these memories. I will be back when I have another one. Got another memory for you. Here we go. And... Uh, Wahisatil's memory. We have just one figure in Ferenskian uh, legend. Paltry when compared to the menagerie found on Gilinor. This Mother Ma, the mythical figure who supposedly birthed the first of our people in the cradle atop the great volcano. Our ancestors were said to make the perilous pilgrimage to the top of the volcano and speak with Mother Ma, who taught them magic and construction and other secrets of survival. When Mother Ma fell into too deep a sleep, she would dream great hordes of Muspa to attack us, and only the ritual of rejuvenation could rouse her and prevent our destruction. When Mother Ma became angry, she would shake the world and cause earthquakes and avalanches, and only the ritual of innovation could calm her. I am not convinced, personally, that Mother Ma the Musaba ever existed. Certainly, by the time of my birth, it had been many thousands of years since the Musaba was supposed to have been seen. And any who- Oh, and that's why he was looking for them. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, supposed to have been seen, and many who made perilous trek up to the volcano and searched for the goddess did not return. Ritual rejuvenation had become an intrinsic part of our culture. One that I believe has served a more of a tool of a political control than a religious purpose. Of course, voicing such progressive thoughts would have seen me next in line, so I kept them to myself. While I cannot deny that the seismic activity occurs, I am not convinced that it was a necessary component of our procreation, nor the ritual of innovation had anything to do with its natural cessation. It simply become our custom to breed during earthquakes. After the, Maja uh, the Majorat left Ferenske, during our short years of war among the Menophites, we gave no thought to the rituals. However, once we reached the fortress of Karadet, Sarasas' offer for us to join the Empire triggered yet another debate. When some argued that sacrifice ought to be made as part of our tradition, a further debate broke out about whether the sacrifice could be meaningly performed in the absence of the volcano marker and marker stone. Zara seemed puzzled by our debate, but after Azanadra explained the history and purpose of the ritual of rejuvenation, he offered to create a replacement marker stone for us and expressed interest in observing. The ritual proceeded with an uncommon solid sol solemnity? Solemnity in the presence of an actual god, and afterwards Zeros explained he had been able to perceive of it in the absence of Mother Ma, whose genuine existence seemed not to question. He explained that the energies that had been intended for propitiation had instead been distributed amongst the rest of us. He told us that on this world, without regular sacrifice, our energies would wither and we would perish. He cautioned, however, that perform the ritual infrequently and recommended an interim of five centuries. When I later learned of the Zigzi from the Sig C Zigi, I don't know what that is. From human astrologers, I recommended we have others. We have practiced this ever since. Zaros's replacement marker stone was eventually relocated to Gorok, where it remains to this day. I think Zaros's insight into our ways was the most significant factor in our decision to join the Empire. Interesting. All right, we have one more memory left to go get. I will be right back. All right, we now have the final memory, and we are going to finish it here. Yeah, make of it what you will. Fantastic. You have brought me one memory from each Majar still active in re recent history. Well, I have gained some insight into my kindred, most of these memories seem to be ancient. There is nothing about their plans and the dissenting Zarmarakians that perhaps could have been useful are already dead. I have experienced something else, though. With each memory absorbed, I think I also absorbed a fragment of that Majarit's lost power. Perhaps it is somehow connected to the withering we experience between rituals. Are you more powerful now? Only to a minute degree. Take a hundred years to recover enough memories to make a difference. It does, however, suggest another potential avenue of research. 
I will investigate the possibilities further. Now that we know how it works, I wonder what would happen if you use the charged device back on our home world of Ferenske. I can't see how you'd ever have the opportunity to visit, but it's worth bearing in mind. In the meantime, thank you for doing this for me. I hope you have learned something of interest, even if it was of no immediate use. Oh, Tiny Lucian Pet, Anger Meter, Nibanix Old Trilby. <laughs> Old Trilby? Lore books, Pontifex title, Legatus title. Fantastic. Wait, what did that s uh... Talk about Majora Memories. Oh, Zamora Gal's memory. They say that Zamorak is banished to the other gods for daring strike down one of their number. This is a lie put down by the minions of Saradomen and Armadu. They have not the strength to perform such an act, and any of them would have eagerly killed Zaros given the opportunity. The truth is very different. Not everyone who joined the rebellion did for the sake of chaos, the cause of chaos itself. Dragon was promised the whole region of Hallowvale. Lucian was promised four and three. The Zusaroth who ruled the Avernic demons were not so easily swayed. Zamorak offered to help them throw off the shackles of their oppressive enslavement to the Chthonians. And still only Thamaron and Zabub had the wit and imagination to actively fight for the rebellion. Once the battle was won and Zaros' shriveled remains lay at Zarak's, Zamorak's feet, the Susaroth saw no reason to wait. Zamorak, though visibly coursing with the divinity of our former lord, collapsed to the ground in agony and exhaustion. With the death of Zaros, the surviving loyalist Susaroth sought direction from the victor, as was their custom. And Thamaron gathered them around Zamrak's body, opening a portal to Infernus. Between them, the mighty demons were able to lift the, the new god, and they carried him out of Gilenor. Moments later, those fools Armadale and Saradomen appeared, witnessed the carnage, and claimed the fallen staff and stone, and vanished again. Denied our leader, the rebel army fell back from the capital, though many former Zerosians flocked out to our banner. As news of what had occurred spread, as an Adra, led a furious assault that drove us out of the city and across the Empire, but could not marshal enough forces to finish off- should it fit? Finish us off! Sheesh! Can't read! Many demons remained in our legions, and through, and through them we learned of Zamrak's fate. He was on Infernus, using his new power to lead another rebellion, this time for the Avernic against the Cathonian masters, and he was winning. When his task was complete, he would have earned the undying loyalty of an entire world of demons and Gilenor would easily fall next. Many of Vernick and some Majar join him on Infernus, while those of us who remained held out against the Zerosians. We were aided in this by the other gods, uh, as the other gods chose this time of crisis to launch their own invasions into the stricken empire, as an address rapidly depleting forces were fighting on all borders. Nineteen years later, Zamorak returned to Gilenor, the head of an Avernic demon army larger than any Longer than the one Zeros had invaded with, although admittedly not as well disciplined now that the Chthonians had been exterminated or exiled to the Abyss. He was flush with his new divinity and his success on Infernus, and demonstrated his valor by declaring the entire former empire in his, his domain, and attacking almost all the invading gods simultaneously. Along with the remaining Zerosian loyalists, the God Wars then began in earnest. All right. So there is all of, there's all of that. <clears throat> Let me check if there's anything else here I need to do. Uh, oh, tons of bonus experience and divination. Is that what that thing was? Oh yeah. Wow, that gave me a whole bunch. Okay, so it also says that I can use the anger meter on Ferenske, which I might go do real quick. Um, I don't have enough stuff to immediately charge it all the way back up, but I can I can go do that really quick So I will be right back. All right. We are about to go back to Ferenske With our charged engram. Whoa, what? Oh These are the oh, I can go straight to the different places Interesting. Well, let's just go to the approach for now and then use this here I guess unless we have to use this in a specific location I don't know. Operate the engrammeter. You catch a whisper of the comprehensible language on the wind. Mighty Shalon, why did you 
Suddenly, the device overloads. Whatever energy it uncovers, there's far too much of it here. Energy suffices the device, distorting it. I don't think it can be used to recover memories anymore. Something the device seems reassuring, comforting somehow. You think it can partially protect you against the environment on Frenske. Oh, cool. Distorted Div. Claim the one-time divination XP from a distorted anger meter. Interesting. All right. So there is also a bunch of things that I can do after I finish Fate of the Gods. So I am going to go do those now. Uh, let me run back to the... Oh, can I not teleport if I'm standing right there? I, I can here. Okay. Um... So, uh, a chosen combat skill. So we're going to go talk to Azanadra in the temple. Uh, okay, so if we go talk to various people after we, after now, or we go talk to various people, we'll, we'll get some various rewards. I need to clean up a lot of this. But I also apparently need the measure for this is something... Uh, oh, if you visit the Empyrean Citadel, Sliske will appear and answer one question, giving you a gift to see the... Oh, so I got that because of... He showed up there because of that quest. Uh, okay. Uh, finding all the Memoriam Crystals on Ferenske. We're not going to do that just now. I can do that later. Uh, survivors... Okay, so let's go talk to... As a Nadra in the temple, um, I believe I can go there quickly if I just grab this. Uh, teleport. There we go. I believe this is the fastest way to get there. Um, I think. Because I'm pretty sure it's just right up here. Uh... I think we will see. I'm pretty because I'm pretty sure it's down this uh, down this here. I I think I, I came here during one of the uh, I came here to get one of the memories that I just did. I should have spoken to uh, I should have spoken to him while I was here. Oh, I also need to go talk to Wahisatel, and I was just there also. Whoa, is this? Has that room always been over there? Huh. That's an Adra. Um. Fourth chat option, Zeros' return. Before anything else, I have been instructed to reward you further. Combat lamp can be used up to three times. So about Zeros' return. It was a truly joyous occasion. I suspected Sliske would attempt to coerce you. That was unavoidable, but my faith in you was well placed. I hope that you do not regret, regret your actions. I'm happy. Back to the height of the Empire, had someone told me that Zaros would be banished from this world, I would not have believed it. After his banishment, he had someone told me that a mere human would be able to return him, I would have laughed. These things have taught me humility, a trait others of my kind lack. I'm not entirely sure you are human anymore. No, you are something else now. I'm glad you're on our side. Now that that is the way, what would you have asked me? Is Zaros here? He returns here regularly, but is most familiarizing himself with the world again. He watches from the Shadow Realm, gods, dragonkin, and mortals alike. There is much work left to do, for which, we, for which we must prepare. Can I talk to him? If you wish to converse with him, use the Shard of Zeros in the Sanctum of Ferenske. We shall contact you when you are needed. Okay, cool. Survivor's Lamp. Um... Magic? I get, oh, uh, ranged. Yeah, let's use it on ranged, because that's my lowest... That's, like, one of my lowest skills. I might as well just use it all up. Okay. Uh... Go talk to Wahisatel. Uh... I need to go to Narda. Um, if I go to El Karid, I believe I can get... Actually, no, yeah, I think this is the fastest way there. As far as I can... I can tell. No, I think if I went to the bandit camp, I might have been a little bit faster. Maybe. Uh, but either way, I can just, uh, take the... I can take the carpet there. Uh, or I could go to, um... I could go to Menifos and... Uh... 
walk a little bit north. That also would have been an option. Alright. I just need to... Uh... Pay... What is the lost and found? I... I, I don't know what that is. Uh... Okay, let's travel... And go to Narda. It's only a thousand to get there, I don't care. Fantastic. And I just need to go... to the north end over here. And go talk to you. I was also just here, I could have done this before. Um... Zeros returning. Uh, tell Wikis to tell the Zeros is back. So I have some good news for you. What do you want first? Good news or bad? Good. Always good. Okay, so I guess I think you'd be- I, You'd think it was good news that Zeros has returned? What? Could it be really true after all this time? It is. I, it is. I was there, in fact. If not for my aid, he'd not have been able to. Hmm. Thanks to your new status as World Guardian, no doubt. That's very good news indeed. Thank you for bringing... I thank you for the bringing of it. Uh, and the bad news? Sliske has been excommunicated. He's no longer a loyal supporter of Zeros. That's hardly news, let alone bad news. How's Zeros? He's strong. Returned to his former glory. I made sure of that. I do wonder why it is that I'm finding out this from you, however. Azanadra didn't tell you the plan? He did not. I must contact him about this. I'm sure he had his reasons. I give you knowledge in exchange for knowledge you gave me. Fantastic. I believe I can also talk to him for, like, other stuff? Maybe not? Um... Oh! I thought this was for... Oh, okay, no. Okay, so this is... Yeah, I'm just gonna use it on archaeology for now. Uh, claim and use the Fate of the Gods XP lamp. Fantastic. Uh, kill all four of the Nihil while they're attacking you at once. I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, finding all the Memorium Crystals, I'm not gonna do that right now. A teleport to the World Gate... A teleport to the World Gate added to the Sixth Age Circuit by speaking to Guthixian Hydruid. Uh, I'll worry about that later. A charged Engrometer used on Frenske, blah blah blah. Visit the Empyrean Citadel. Four Elder Chronicles. Near the submerged statue. On Entrana. Outside Sahar entrance, near the Oracle atop Ice Mountain, and by the archaeologist camp on the plateau in the ruins of Ulek. Uh... Where's Ulek? Oh, off in the corner. Okay. So I'm gonna go do those. Um, and one of them is literally just, like, right down here. I can go... I can just go south from here to get to Ulek. That's literally right over here. Uh, Elder Chronicles. Fantastic. So let's grab these, and then from there, after that, we will continue on and do the next, the next quest, which would be the Mighty Fall. But I do want to do these. These are fairly simple things to do before we move on, just to get a little bit of extra rewards out of this. Some of these quests do have so much stuff. I can... I can just climb up this, can't I? This will get me pretty close to there. And then I can just go over this. By the archaeologist camp on the plateau. Atop the stairs. Yeah, here. So if I do place... Capture Elder Chronicle. The Elder Fragment dissipates between your fingers as you catch it. You're left with a greater understanding of divine energy. Alright, I will take the measure. This reminds me of the Needle. Um, outside Sahar City, we can go do that one real quick. Um, near the Oracle atop Ice Mountain. Yeah, these are all, these are all fairly quick. I'm gonna finish these off in this episode. Um, if I go a little bit over... I'll go a little bit over. If I go a little bit short, I'll go a little bit short. I, d I don't know exactly how fast... Or I don't exactly know what the, the editing time of this episode will be, especially since I'm cutting out... I, I'm sitting here and I've been recording for... 
almost hour and <laughs> almost an hour and a half uh, down to get this. I'm basically cutting out half of my time here, uh, just so that we can speed some of this process along. Normally, I don't like to cut out um, footage, but I mean, it's literally me just at the bank putting stuff into a box. That's kind of boring. All right, so this is outside here. So we will place it here, I guess. There we go. 92 in divination, halfway there. Fantastic. All right, let's now go to, and go to Edgeville, get on top of Ice Mountain near the Oracle. And then the last one will take a little bit longer because I'm gonna have to go put away my Put away the rest of the stuff in my inventory. I guess that's not a huge deal. It's it's kind of one button. I might as well go just do that now while I'm here next to the next to the bank. <laughs> the uh, the skybox didn't quite uh, swap over fast enough there. That was funny. All right, so let's go. I'm just gonna put everything away. Grab the anger the measure. All right. And if I need, once I get to a point where I'm, uh, I'll probably end up doing all of those, the rest of those things, uh, during, during when I'm doing, um, cleaning up, uh, gosh dang it, what's the word I'm looking for here? When I'm cleaning up, uh, achievements. That's the word I'm looking for. While I'm cleaning up achievements, I'll end up doing that other stuff. Okay, so it's up here somewhere. I'm assuming theirs are all thematic based on their uh, elements. Okay. And then the last one is I can go to uh, Port Serum. There we go. Oh, did these guys get a... Ice Fiends looks like they got a little bit of a... an upgrade. I hadn't even paid attention to that. Alright, here we go. And go over here, grab that last one. And right- it should be right in front of that face, I guess. Travel... Okay, good. I don't have to give up my... Uh, I don't have to give up my thing. I'm glad I don't have to... I'm glad I don't have to smuggle this on here. It's really funny, because apparently there's a lot of ways you can smuggle uh, weapons on here. There's quite a few. And as the game progresses, more and more weapons are able to be smuggled onto Entrana. It's pretty funny. Submerged statue. Okay. Here. And there we go. The Elder Chronicle. Use the measure to find f the four Elder Chronicles. All right. Well, either way, that is about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night. And we will start doing some more quests again tomorrow. Bye-bye!